Hey, welcome to one more video. And on today's video, I'm going to cover how we can magically replicate in data between regions in our cloud infrastructure. And of course, we're going to wrap up with an awesome hands-on so that you can see it in action. Are you ready? Okay, before we get started, welcome to this channel. If you're new here, I would like to invite you, please go ahead and subscribe yourself to our channel, enable the notification so that you can be notified whenever we post new videos for you guys. And if you don't follow us yet on Instagram, please go ahead and do so. It is the cloudbootcamp.english. That's going to be awesome to have you over there. All right. Okay, let's jump into the content now. And in today's video, as I said, I would like to cover uh, a very nice feature that our Cloud Infrastructure has released recently, which is the cross-region replication for the object storage service. So basically, our Cloud Infrastructure released a feature which allows you to kind of magically replicate in data between uh, regions in our Cloud Infrastructure. And before I show you how it works in action, right, I would like to just give you a few use cases where the replication would fit very well. And the first one, I would say that, you know, uh, if you have cross-regional replication enabled for your object storage that's going to protect you from regional outages right if you think about that if you're just using your all your workloads in just one region in our cloud infrastructure in case there is an outage in that region your data will not be available your data will be unavailable right and in case you want to be covered for such issues you, you need to you know plan and use your data in multiple regions right you can replicate your data to one more region in case that region goes down your data is available in the other region and the second thing that the replication provides you is of course it's going to allow you to have a disaster recovery environment in place right in case um, you have requirements for your application to have a dr environment enabled you can have that you know easily replicated let's say your primary environment is on region a and your dr environment is configured on region b and you want to have you know the region B to be your standby or DR environment and have the data replicated between region A and B, you can easily enable the object storage replication so that all your data in a bucket in a region A can be automatically replicated to region B. And the third thing that the replication does provide to you is basically it will give you data redundancy, right? And there are a lot of companies that have some compliance requirements that need to have data redundancy in place. If it is the case of your company or the clients that you work, you can have the replication enabled so that you can have copies of your data sitting in a different region. And last but not least, that's a good use case for distributed applications as well. Let's say that you know your users, you have a application deployed in the, in the US regions, let's say Ashburn and Phoenix, and your users are spread across the US, right? If you basically put the data closer to the users, you're going to have you know a reduced latency, right? So if you have your data in an object storage in a bucket in a region Ashburn, for example, and the same data Replicated to the region of Phoenix, you can of course have the users that need to access the data. They should, you know, just get the access to the data which in the region which is closer to them. So let's say the users which are in Ashbourne can access the data which which is inside of the object storage bucket in the Ashbourne region, whereas the users in the Phoenix region are closer to that region in, in the west side of the US. For example, they can access the same data which is getting replicated from Ashburn to uh, Phoenix basically through the bucket that is created in a Phoenix region. So that's basically gives you a reduced latency because you're putting the data closer to the users, right? Okay, cool. Now that you know, uh, you know, the main use cases for the object storage uh, cross-regional replication, I would like to uh, cover a hands-on so that you can see how it works in Pratt, right? And for that, I would like you to think about the following use case. Let's say that you have a compliance requirement of you know basically having your data replicated between two regions right let's say that you need to have data redundancy in place to be compliant to some requirement of, of your company and you would like to uh, configure replication for your data which is sitting 
primarily in the Ashburn region, but you want to set up the replication so that all the data which is there in the Ashburn region and the Ashburn object storage bucket is also replicated to another bucket sitting in the Phoenix region. And that way you would have data replicated and data redundancy in place, right? So for you know implementing this use case, I'm going to go to the console right now and then you're going to see that happening in a practice. All right, cool. As you can see, I'm right there in the OCI uh, dashboard. And as you can see, my home region is a uh, uh, US East, which is Ashburn. I'm going to first go to the object storage uh, location to see how many buckets uh, do I have at this time. And as you can see, I just have two buckets. You know, for our use case, I'm going to create a new bucket, which I'm going to call, let's say, maybe YouTube demo. I'm going to create that, uh, keep the default options. And right there, uh, it's, it's, it was just created my YouTube demo in the Ashburn region, as you can see here in the top. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to upload one file to this uh, object storage. I'm going to upload just one file. Let, let me pick one of the images. I'm just going to upload one image over here. And right there, as you can see, I have one image in the object storage bucket in the Ashburn location. Now that I would like to set up the cross regional replication, what I'm going to do is I'll basically create a new bucket in a Phoenix region, right? So for that, I'm going to come back here to the main menu and then I'll switch the region here in the top to the Phoenix region. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm right here in a Phoenix region and now I'm going to create a new bucket, which is going to basically have the data replicated from the Ashburn region. And for that, I'm just going to give the same name, YouTube demo, and I'll keep the options as it is. I'll create the bucket. And as you can see, I have a new bucket uh, with the same name, but now in the Phoenix region, right? So just going to uh, take a quick pause to explain, right? We just created one bucket in the Ashburn region in the east side of the US, and we just created another bucket in the Phoenix region. And in addition to that, we also uploaded one file to the Ashburn region, all right? So that's where we are now. Now, before we enable the replication, we need to take care of one prerequisite. And which prerequisite is that? So basically for you to enable the replication in our cloud infrastructure, I mean the cross region replication in the object storage, you need to give the permission to the object storage service to basically go ahead and copy your data from your bucket between the regions, right? And we do that using IAM policies. So basically the IAM policy that we are going to use, uh, let me show you now, which one is that? This one. So we are going to say allow service object storage in the region Ashburn 1, which is my source region uh, for of my object storage bucket. And you're going to give the uh, manage privilege on the object family in our tenancy, in, in my tenancy in that case. So for that, I'm just going to copy that policy. I'm going to switch back to the OCI console. I'm going to uh, go on the menu now and basically hover uh, over identity and then create a new policy. Just click on the policy menu and I'll click on the uh, create policy button. And for the replication name, I'll just say replication policy YouTube demo Phoenix. And the description in here, I'll just say policy to allow replication or maybe object storage replication. And then here I'm going to add the statement, which was uh, the one that I just showed you. Once I do that, I'll just create a uh, hit and create button. All right, perfect. As you can see here, I already have my uh, policy created. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, I think I have all the requirements um, created in place to enable the replication. Basically, we have two buckets, one in the source region, another one in the destination region. We also have the policy in place. So I think we are good to go to enable the replication now. Let's give a try. So for that, I'm going to come back in here in the menu, and then I'll go and select the object storage, and then Given that I'm going to enable the replication from Ashburn to Phoenix, I'm going to switch back the region to Ashburn, and I'm going to, uh, you know, click in the in the bucket that I would like to configure the replication. And as you can see here in the left hand side, we have an option, and right here we can just basically create policy. You can uh, click on on this button, and that's going to ask us the policy name. You just say replication policy YouTube demo Phoenix. Uh, which is right here. And then it's going to ask us which are the region, the destination region that you'd like to create or to um, 
establish the replication, right? So I'm going to pick now Phoenix. Phoenix is the destination region. And then it's going to ask me, okay, which is the destination bucket, the object storage bucket that you'd like to use for the replication? And as you can see here, I have the YouTube demo created in a Phoenix region as well, as I showed you. So when we pick the Phoenix, it actually automatically populated the name here. So I'm just going to pick that. And then also I'm all search, just click and create button. It's gonna take a few seconds to, to create the replication policy. All right, as, as you can see in here, now the replication is enabled. You can see it is showing that this bucket is actually a source. I'm inside of the bucket YouTube demo in Ashburn region. And this is the source and the replication policy is active. And once the service is starts to replicate, it basically will populate this column saying what was the timestamp which the replication happened last, right? If we look in here, if we look in the object now, inside of the object, we just have one file, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload a new file so that we can test and see if the replication is working fine. I'm going to upload the image true, for example. All right, I just uploaded that. And if I if I coming back in here in the replication policy, just wanted to see if it is already replicating. As you can see, the timestamp changed. So it means that it already started to uh, replicate. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I will switch back to the Phoenix region. I'll come back in here in the object storage main menu. I will switch back to Phoenix region here in the top. And basically here is my bucket, my destination bucket. And as you can see, uh, as soon as we get inside of the bucket, it's already gives us a uh, message saying that this is a replication destination bucket, right? It means that basically this bucket is already a uh, peer, is already peered with another bucket, which is in that case, the bucket that we have in the Ashburn region, right? That we created in Ashburn region as a source location for the replication. And this is the destination location. If we scroll down, we see that the replication is enabled. And if we scroll even further, you see that we don't have any objects replicated yet. That's expected because that, you know, can take uh, up to, you know, from 30 seconds to one minute to replicate, right? Uh, if we refresh now, let's just uh, refresh the page and it's gonna load again. And as you can see, there you go. The image to file is there. It was just replicated. You can see the timestamp. And then maybe you are wondering now, right? Hey, Jean, um, I see see that image two got replicated, but I don't see the image one, right? What happened? And that is exactly what I wanted to show you. I, I did that intentionally to show you how the replication works, right? So basically, if you recall, uh, the image one file that I uploaded, basically I uploaded that before creating the replication policy, right? So what I did was I created the Ashburn bucket. And then after that, I uploaded the image one file and then I created the, the Phoenix bucket. After that, I you know created the IEM policy, and then only after that I enabled the replication policy, right? So you can see that the image one was created or was uploaded before I have created the um, replication policy. And then the image two, on the other hand, I uploaded after creating the replication policy. That's exactly how the object storage uh, cross region replication will work, right? Whatever object you have up uploaded prior to creating the replication policy, those objects will not be automatically replicated, right? Only the objects that you upload after creating the replication policy will be replicated between the two buckets in the different regions or even inside of the same region, right? That's uh, completely expected and I did intentionally so that you can see how it works, all right? So just keep that in mind. In case you have objects inside of your uh, source bucket prior to the replication policy is created, you're going to copy those objects manually to the destination bucket. And only after that, you can enable the replication and the new objects created after that point will be replicated to the destination bucket. So that's uh, how we can, you know, kind of magically replicate objects between uh, two regions in our cloud infrastructure. As you saw in here, we basically replicated objects, which is an Ashburn region, which is the east side of the US. 
to the Phoenix region, which is in the west side of the US, right? So basically, you know, went through the whole US and copied it in a, in a very short time because it goes through the Oracle backbone. So that's very awesome feature. That is the cross region object storage replication. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have enjoyed this kind of hands-on. If you did like this kind of videos, uh, please leave your comment in here. Let me know because I love to read all the comments and you know, create contents that will add value to you guys. And in case you want to learn about any, you know, new feature or technology on our cloud infrastructure, let me know in the comments as well. I'll be more than happy to prepare the content for you guys. All right. So if you did like this video, please give me your thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.